All righty, welcome back. We've made it to Wednesday morning. Traffic moving along very nicely across parts of Marathon County. This is US 51 at County K. And notice we got cones out there, so road construction still taking place across our neck of the woods over in parts of Marathon County, but thankfully traffic moving without much issue. Maybe some localized areas of dense fog to keep an eye on. Meanwhile, in Rhinelander, I kept the camera zoomed out this morning. We have a nice view of Rhinelander this morning, and it looks like a nice day on the way. So we'll see a lot of sunshine with a few clouds on the way coming up later on today. As for that fog, we're noticing it now across parts of the Tomahawk area. Visibility is reduced just a little bit, but notice across parts of eastern Wisconsin, also in the parts of the UP, more reduced areas of uh, visibility. This is because of the fog that they're dealing with this morning. The sunshine will help to get that out of here soon. Meanwhile, let's check things out. We've had a few showers across parts of uh, eastern Minnesota this morning. There's more activity further off towards the west. We'll have clouds approaching today. We'll call it a party cloudy sky. And this is a system we have our eye on for showers and storms that will be on the way, especially as we head towards Thursday night and the parts of Friday morning. Friday night, we're good with more activity on the way as we head towards the weekend. But the bigger picture right now, showing some showers and storms across the central plains and stretching up into parts of the Montana state as well. But meanwhile, future cast moving forward. We'll be under a partly cloudy sky today with more of those clouds approaching during the afternoon and also the evening time frame. As we head towards tomorrow, notice we have some showers hours and storms approaching western Wisconsin by around early Thursday morning at around 5 a.m. or so. One or two of those may approach during the morning period Thursday with another one or two of those possibly developing Thursday afternoon. Once we head towards Thursday night, more showers and storms will pass through. Most of those will be out of here as so we head towards Friday morning. Perhaps some areas of dense fog to keep an eye on by Friday morning. But otherwise, we need the rainfall. A lot of the U.S. under some kind of drought right now. And even up here in our neck of the woods, abnormally dry conditions are being observed across our neck of the woods where you see this color here. Also across parts of the UP, we do have rain on the way. That's good news for this, but also that may help to get the colors that come out, though. We're, we see some of those already, but they'll become a little bit more vibrant if we can get some cooler temperatures and some rainfall, and we do, we do have that on the way. But for now, just some low colors being observed across our neck of the woods with the latest reported with regards to the fall colors. So nothing too extreme, at least just yet with how much fall colors, but we're noticing those outside, and we'll see this map fill in a little bit more, especially as we as we move forward, but we typically peak at around early October. We still have time yet for the fall colors to get there by early October, and they usually get beautiful up here across the Northwoods. We definitely need some cooler temperatures and rainfall, and we do have some of that on the way, so that may help things out moving forward. Now, temperatures right now are starting off in the 40s and 50s in our viewing area this morning, the 40s being in Leona and also in the Rome area. We also have 60 degrees in Phillips and some other spots also waking up into the 50s and 60s. As our average high temperature is now 68 degrees, upper 70s, lower 80s on the way today, all the way through at least Saturday. So still feeling like summer for a bit. We cool off a bit Sunday and notice Monday to Tuesday feeling more like fall with temperatures in the upper 60s. And we're not quite done with the humidity, at least just yet. Dew points forecasted to reach into the lower to middle 60s Thursday and also in the parts of Friday before it falls just a bit. But notice though, maybe an increase on the way as we get towards Sunday and Monday. So we're not quite done with the humid air just quite yet. Partly cloudy and warm today with high in the lower 80s and south wind getting up to around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Later on tonight, party cloudy again. Lows in the lower 50s. Southeast breeze at around 5 miles per hour. Northwoods furniture and mattress. Seven-day forecast. Slight chance for a shower or a storm Thursday. Otherwise, party cloudy. Highs in the lower 80s. More storms by Friday, especially in the morning. More storms possible through the weekend. Nothing too ridiculous there. Notice falls also occurring on Sunday with temperatures cooling off in the lower 70s by then. And upper 60s Monday to Tuesday with more opportunities for showers.